while we're down this end, Gerald is down the other end on the uh, on the saw. Uh, but we're watching the saw. Now this is where it's been cut into timber like this, right? It's all happening. Kindling ladies, if you want some kindling, it, uh, cut off cuts there. They point these points at sticks here, right? They've got this timber with points on them, right? Now, this is for the casings, I would say, or something, okay? This machine here has got an elevator. So it's taking the timber up the elevator. Oh, okay, so there it is. Cutting it there, see? Little bits of timber have been cut off there. Right? Over there we've got all the switches and that. Uh, that's where the electricity comes from. Over there. Now we've got this timber coming down here. I'll just go around and see if I can get a better shot. There he is. He's cutting it off there now. Look. It's been fed down here. These are the offcuts. Of the process, the bark and all that, and it comes down here, over there, and the saw cuts it off. There's, there's a better shot. There it is. It's been cut off here, and it's going up the there. Right up into that hopper up there. We're teaching you the story of timber. This is the story of New Zealand timber. Coming, coming to you live from the Traveller's Guide website. She's all belts and pulleys. This is the conveyor belt, which is taking the offcuts of the timber right up to this hopper up here. Okay, and there's a truck underneath here waiting to be loaded. It'll come down out of the hopper onto the back of the truck. Scott Sawmillers, treated timber and post. There's the truck waiting to be loaded from this hopper. There's the power wires in there that brings all the power in. Okay. And here's the, um, the loader, the front end loader waiting to do some work. Now that looks like a big tank of water. That'll be his water supply. Scott Sawmiller, no children allowed. I wouldn't think so. Okay. So this is the water supply, the tank. Here's another shot of the Michigan uh, Model 55A waiting there. It's the front end loader machine. Michigan 55, Model 55A. Right, there's Scott's Timber, Terms and Supply and Payment. There's the office. Please ring for service. Unless prior arrangement and approval of management, normal credit criteria apply. Payment is due no later than the 20th day of the month following invoicing. Overdue accounts will incur penalty interest at the rate of 2.5% a month. Unpaid accounts will also incur our costs in instructing a debt collector or solicitor. Very important for the terms and conditions people understand that. Okay, so we'll go inside. This big saw is called the breaking down saw and that's where it cuts it in half into manageable smaller sizes and comes over here 
to be cut into timber uh, certain lengths and uh, widths of timber. Gerald just busy with the customer at the moment, but we'll talk to him shortly. All the buttons and pulleys there and the red lights and stuff. G'day Gerald! How you doing mate? Good thanks. Hey, good to see you. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, thanks for bringing us out here. Let me come out there and video the sawmill. No problem at all. How old is it, Gerald? Yeah. How old is the sawmill? How old is the sawmill? We've been here in the 30s and we've arrived here. Our family's been on sawmilling for maybe three generations. Is that so, right? Yes. The, uh, we took us home from our father. Right. Yeah, and he, his three brothers have both uh, all had sawmills. Did they? Uh, one, still one going, well two going, one in retire and this one here. Oh right. It's still, still going, which is pretty good. Um, Under the Scott of, name? Yeah. Good on. the sawmills are going around, it's still a, a good thing. Great achievement. Yeah. And you're only a two man band here? We are. Yeah, yeah and you, you churn out a bit of timber? Yep. Yeah, good on you. Well, show us what you're doing there, Gerald, and we'll have a uh, take a shot. First of all, you're breaking down up there to get a uh, flat side to work on. Then we come down here uh, on the breast bench. And you this is called a breast bench. Yeah. Right. That's a breaking down, down bench over there. This is the breast bench, right? Yep. And the size your timber here. Size your timber. Yeah. Goes on the trolley beside the side there, and then the outside it gets stripped out. The main thing when you're stripping the timber out is to keep the strip in a dead straight line. Oh, okay. Yeah, otherwise your timber will warp and carry on. Right, right. Yeah. So you know all the tricks of the trade. Uh, oh, you, how many years have you been doing it? <laughs> Since you were a child, eh? Yeah. Yeah, good on you. Up here. <laughs> Good guy, Gerald. Nice talking to nice people. Yeah, there is. There is breaking it down there now. And he pulls this cord. I'll find out what that cord does. Right, he pulls that cord every time it goes through. Coming out the other end. Looks about a four but four by one or something. In the old language. I'll just sneak around the other end now so we can see it coming out the other end. Sneaked in here to have a look at some of the uh, saw blades there. This is, looks like his office. This is the um, smoker room and all his notes and things there. Um, yeah, it's good. A bit of a heater there. Oh, it looks like even with the beer down the boat below there for the boys. Fair enough. Okay. Uh, spates it is. Don't forget, it's gold metal ale. Gerald asked me to introduce you to the office girls. Here are the office girls. They're here to keep you warm in the winter. Okay? So these are the office girls at the moment. It's quarter to ten, you see. He's got a calendar here to know what time it is. And all his notes there. Good filing system. Cup of tea there. I might get a cup of tea if I talk with you, talking me into it. Um, yeah, so good on you office girls. Thanks for showing us around. Now we've, we've seen the breasts, now this is the breast bench, okay, it's called a breast bench, this is where they make the breasts.
don't know what the cord's for. I'm going to find out what the cord is for. He pulls the cord every time one goes through. Look, he's pulling the cord. Trolley there. See the offcut going in there? That's the bark side. That'll be cut up into smaller pieces. These are what they're called four by twos. I, they used to be four inches by two inches, but I don't know what they call them now, but I called them in my day was four by two. Then he pulled that cord again. I'm going down to find out why he pulled that cord. Gerald, why do you pull the cord? Opens the gauge up, returns everything. What's that? Opens the gauge up. Here, look at the gauge. Oh, he pulls the cord to open the gauge. Oh, I see. All oh, right. So that's why he pulls the cord to open the gauge. It's all very simple, really, isn't it? Even kids could understand it. Hey? It's easy work, yeah. There it is. Well, watch this a bit closer here now. We're now in our tapping. There's the gauge. He pulled it. To open the gauge and close the gauge. He's running on a trolley here. There, eh? He's done it before. Gerald's done it before. Not the first time, Gerald. <laughs> it's an interesting business, the timber industry in New Zealand. We're very proud of our pine forests. And this will be pine that he's cutting up here now. The breast beach. Nothing to do with the office lady. <laughs> Look at this. Well, watch this closely. Just like that. Like cutting butter. Must talk to him about the sharpening with the saws later. Oh, the truck's here. Gotta go. The truck's here. Wearing's arrived in with one of these trucks.